Hey, welcome back. My name is Scott and this is another My Bourbon Journey review. So if you're new to this channel or this is your first time checking it out, uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the uh, bell notification. That alerts you to when I'm doing uh, new uploads uh, or doing a live stream. So today I'm going to be doing a interesting review uh, of a product that you know I hear a lot of people talk about but have not a lot of information or know much about it. So this is the uh, Mellow Corn uh, by Heaven Hill. This is a 100 proof bottled in bond. Uh, so it is uh, a minimum again of four years old, 100 proof, um, uh, aged in a federally bonded warehouse. Uh, product comes from the same distillation uh, season. So hopefully I got all of that correct for the most part. Um, but again, anyway, so this is uh, again the, the Mellow Corn this is a corn whiskey. This is not a, a bourbon. Uh, this is a, a basically a straight corn whiskey, meaning that I believe in order for it to technically be considered a, a corn whiskey, it has to be a, a minimum of 81% uh, corn uh, regarding the mash bill. So uh, why don't we get into the review uh, of this? Uh, typically, what I like to try to do is go through the appearance, we'll go through the nose, the taste, and then kind of get into some other general information. Maybe uh, maybe a rating, I'm not sure if I'll do it with, with this one or not, but in terms of value, we'll go through some of that. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get into the review. So as you can see, this is a really, really light uh, kind of honey type of, of color. I mean, really, really light for the most part. So uh, hopefully you can pick that up a little bit. So let's go ahead and get into the nosing. So right up front, you're getting what you would expect with this corn whiskey is a lot of sweetness, a lot of that kind of corn, that grainy sweetness that kind of comes through. Um, kind of uh, a little bit of uh, kind of a green apple, kind of green grapes. Those types of fruits are kind of wanting to come through. A little bit of caramel is, the, is there. Maybe really light oak. Uh, a light butterscotch, a lot of light type of, of notes to it so far. Very, very sweet, very uh, sweetness forward. Well, let's get into the, uh, let's get into the taste. Cheers. So my initial thought is right away, you kind of get that, that really corn uh, sweetness, like a, like a buttery, like a buttery popcorn type of sweetness, all kind of wrapped in one, if, if that makes any sense. Definitely the green apple, kind of green grape, that, that type of fruit is, is there. Yeah, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a a, a, a really sweet kind of um, single malt, uh, meaning when you have a dominant grain, maybe similar to like a, a, a barley, it, it, it tends to be a little bit on the sweeter side. That's what I kind of get with this. The finish part of it, I mean, it's kind of there and gone for the most part. Not a lot there. Heat-wise... You know, minimal. You get a little bit kind of right away with it being the 100 proof. Most of it in terms of the flavor that's there, it does want to kind of linger a little bit on the on the back of the palate, but there's not a lot there. Now, for $10, um, I would say this is something you probably want to add just to have. I mean, it's a nice product. You know, there's not a lot of people, I think, who who have the opportunity maybe to either get this or know exactly what it is, you know, but to be able to pull this out and allow somebody else to maybe try a, a straight uh, rot or excuse me, straight uh, corn whiskey. It's, uh, it's interesting from that standpoint, you know, is it something I'd want to sip on all the time? You know, I guess if I was in the mood for something really sweet, um, you know, not nothing I have to worry about kind of 
you know, being, uh, you know, really, you know, in depth. It's just kind of there. Uh, it's there and gone. The, like I said before, the, the, the finish on this is, is very, very short, maybe medium for the, at the very most. But I, again, you're, you're talking about, you know, a hundred proof, meaning there's a well being, there's going to be a little bit of, a little bit of heat. So it's a good proof from it being a bottle and bond flavor wise. Again, you're getting a lot of those, um, kind of green fruits, uh, forward, uh, very similar to kind of a single malt, um, whiskey where there's that sweetness that's there. So if that's something that maybe fits a little bit of either your flavor profile or, or what you would like to, to kind of sip on, you know, go ahead and pick it up. I mean, like I said before, I think this is something that's, that's great to have around the bottle. If nothing else is, is pretty cool looking. Um, there's not a lot of people who have had an opportunity maybe to, uh, like I said before, to, to try a, a corn whiskey, but again, flavor profile wise, you're getting a lot of that green apple, you know, some of the green grape. That kind of buttery popcorn kind of wants to keep coming through to me on that. But again, not a lot of heat, but as soon as you taste it, it's kind of gone, which is a little bit unfortunate because up front, it's got a decent, a decent, you know, flavor profile. But, you know, as soon as you you kind of taste it, it's, it's gone and you want another, another sip a little bit on the dry side, you know, makes you kind of want to take another sip just to kind of coat the palate or get it wet again. But yeah, I mean, it's a, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's a, it's a corn whiskey. It's a hundred proof. It's a, again, a bit of a, a novelty type of, of item. You know, it is worth probably having around, you know, if nothing else, you know, bust it out when you just want something that's nice and nice and sweet, easy to, to sip on would be fine. I don't know really what type of cocktail it would be great in unless you wanted something that was really on the, the sweet side. The proof is there, but I didn't get a lot of heat, so I'm not exactly sure how that would hold up cocktail wise. But anyway, so I just wanted to kind of get that out there, uh, you know, it's always something people ask about or, or, you know, you hear people talk about it, but aren't always quite sure exactly what it is. Uh, but again, this is a, uh, this is mellow corn. This is a, a corn whiskey that's produced by Heaven Hill. It is a bottle and bond. So it is going to be a minimum of a hundred proof and aged at least four years. So, you know, go ahead and pick it up, you know, rating wise. I don't know if it's fair to really give it a rating. It's $10. It's a corn whiskey, um, you know, it's kind of a, a category of, of its own. So, you know, just pick it up, um, you know, see if, see what, you know, if it's something that you think you'd like, um, maybe you like sipping on it, maybe you like it in a cocktail, but, you know, give it a, give it a try. So, um, you know, so anyway, so with that being said, um, you know, go ahead and uh, leave me a, uh, a thumbs up, you know, leave some comments. I try to get back to everybody on the comments. So if you're leaving something, you know, I, I feel like it's worth me, um, you know, taking the time to respond. So I appreciate that. I'm trying to, again, continue to build the channel. Hopefully everybody is, is liking the reviews. If there's something, uh, that you would like to see me maybe do a review of, uh, give me a, you know, leave me a comment and I'll, I'll see what I can do with that. Also, I've got coming up a few other, uh, reviews. I've had a few companies send me some things and I think I'm going to maybe try to do some, uh, live streams uh, with maybe some of their reps uh, in those as well. So we'll see how that goes. So keep an eye out uh, for some of those. Make sure again to hit the uh, the bell notification. That's going to alert you to uh, when I'm doing the um, the new uploads or a live stream. So and again, you know, leave me some thumbs up, leave me comments, all of that good stuff. I appreciate uh, everything that uh, that everybody does. So uh, with that being said, we'll see you next time. Cheers.